I can't believe we're paying to see something we get on TV for free. If you ask me, everybody in this theater is a giant sucker. Especially you! If you're around my age or older, you might remember when Fox premiered a new animated series about 12 years ago called Bob's Burgers. This was also you back then, if you were my age or older. I'll give him a week. I'll give him 11 minutes. Bob's Burgers won a lot of us over sooner or later. Once the show truly figured out what it was, it became this welcomed addition to the Fox cartoons not canceled after two seasons or less. In some twisted, fucked up parallel universe, this video is about the Alan Gregory movie. Yeesh. Fuck would you show me something if I couldn't have it? Bob and Linda have to come up with a lump sum of money in seven days or else the bank will repo all of their restaurant equipment. And them trying to get the bread together just gets even harder when a big ass fucking hole just opens up right in front of their crib. That's all I really want to say about just the story of the movie. I honestly feel like it's cooler if you go in knowing less and you get to experience the story through the character's eyes. I actually uh, got to see this movie early, about like two weeks early. Uh, actually, and I've just been kind of bottling up how I feel about it this entire time. But now, like, I can finally tell you, I can finally let all you guys know that the Bob's Burgers movie is fucking dope. You're a bitch of Reese Lucy's. Bob. What? Bob. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah, what do you, here. Uh, you're what here. Do you want? Okay. Nah, I just wanted to let you know that I'm editing the new Terrific Tariq video. Oh, yeah? What are you using? Wondershare Demo Creator is an essential demo making tool that helps learners, educators, freelancers, and gamers take idea sharing to the next level. Everyone can start with Demo Creator easily and quickly even with zero editing skills. There's tons of built-in templates such as text overlays, filters, just to help edit your video quickly. You can add whatever pictures, videos, audio, whatever you got in your library. Create a timeline and you can just plug in all these different transitions, effects, stickers, text, you name it. They even got their own stock sounds and music. Nice. They've got mad different choices, right? But if you somehow end up getting bored with what they have, you could always hit the effect store and cop something else that they got. And of course, there's their new virtual presenter, a virtual avatar that talks and mimics your facial expressions in real time. Look at me, watch me bond with mine. <laughs> know what I mean? You can use it for gaming live streams, gameplays, any kind of live presentation. Like the possibilities with this thing truly are endless. It's a little me up there, man. Hey, is that me? I look good. Get your Spielberg on, baby. I encourage you guys to download Wondershare Demo Creator for free if you want to get like your boy. Share your highlight videos with the hashtag Demo Creator Virtual YouTubers and they'll pick two lucky winners to gift a premium license to. Mechi, well. I had a good time with the Bob's Burgers movie. So good, in fact, that I ended up pulling up again opening night just because I wanted to see it again. Check him out, y'all. He dick ride. Look, he got the dick all in his mouth. Look, shaboing boing, get the dick out your mouth. I know when we think of movie crowds now, right? We think of like Sonic 2 or like a Marvel movie or something. Like something that's just gonna give you like a big reaction from fans. But this movie reminded me that it ain't nothing like seeing a good comedy in a movie theater, son. I truly feel like my experience was amplified both times by the amount of people around me just cracking the fuck up. You can tell that both times it was a room full of people that just completely understood the show and its sensibilities. But even without a crowd, I still think the movie's hilarious. If you love the humor of the series, you're right at home here. Similar to something like the Simpsons movie, they give everybody in the family something to do. Everybody has their own thematic thread that just hangs over their heads throughout the entire film, and it's nice to watch them all unfold. I think out of everybody, Gene's story might be the weakest, only because it seems like it doesn't get as much attention as like Tina, Bob, Linda, Louise, or honestly kind of even Teddy to a certain extent. Not to give anything away, but he invents something, and since the movie's a musical, right, like my brain just automatically went, oh, they'll use this throughout. 
Definitely. <laughs> they kind of don't, honestly, but it is what it is. And yes, the movie is kind of a musical, yeah. There's only like three songs, but they're good songs. Less songs means less opportunity to fumble the bag on one of them, so I feel the vibes. Bob's Burgers is on. This show speaks to us young people, apparently. That show, and, and I mean no disrespect when I say this, but that show looks like it was animated in a moving car. This movie looks fucking great. Fuck Family Guy. I'm sorry, baby. I love you. I love how this thing looks. When I heard there was going to be a theatrical Bob's Burgers movie, I spent most of that time just trying to mentally work out how these characters will look cinematically. And I think they did a great job. The movie doesn't forego the classic Bob's Burgers character standing and talking kind of staging uh, for a good chunk of it, but some of this lighting, fucking background designs, these dances, like it's all beautifully animated. It's a real treat to look at, I'll be honest. When's the last time you've just seen like a, like a 2D movie in theaters? There's a shot in this movie that got an audible oh shit out of me both times. I saw it, it was so fucking terrifying, just by the way that it's animated, I promise. And if you've seen this movie, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. But I think the best thing about this film is that it's super sweet. Every character's story is just laced with so much heart, so much care. You genuinely feel for them and want the best for them no matter what. Man, how do these reviewing a new movie people do this shit? I feel like I'm just saying words now, man, what the fuck? I'd spoil a movie, but... The point of this is because I want y'all to go out and support it. Niggas got me on my Jeremy Johns. I'm sick. And as always, if you like you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. Why was this so hard to find? This nigga don't point the camera no more. No funny shit, bro. Like, I don't want to, like, overhype anything or make anyone go in with unnecessarily high expectations or anything. But I've been thinking about this for a while. This might be a 10 out of 10 for me, bro. Like, actually. I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since I first saw it. I don't know if it's just the novelty of seeing these characters like on a big screen. The long for more movie like this, the idea of the characters that we've loved on our TV screens coming to life in a room full of people that grew up with them. The excitement that I feel when one of these comes out. But like, I really do love this movie. I smiled the entire time through my mask, which I still wear everywhere I go because I don't really trust niggas. And it's phenomenal with a crowd. I'm learning that Bob's is just the kind of show that, like, if you love it, you love it. If you don't, you just don't. If you're not a fan of the way the show is written or just like that vibe, I don't really know how much you'd actually enjoy yourself. It might not be an objective 10 out of 10 because I don't think it's perfect. There's a mystery that's a little predictable. Some plot stuff doesn't really get as much attention as I feel like it should, but it's definitely a personal. 10 out of 10 because i had a fucking ball if you want any more talk about this and why i love it there should be a cartoons that curse episode dropping on monday with me and johnny talking about it in detail so many people either went oh my god yes or just went what the fuck is cartoons that curse and who the fuck is johnny and honestly that's a valid question i don't know who that is go out and see it if you can we need more of these more movies based on cartoons we grew up in that era and I think it's time for it to come back. So get out there and show people that we actually want these. Shit, who's getting the movie next? Will it be you? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. I mean, you know, it's my job, right? First things first, I pop up, freaks all the honeys, dummies, playboy bunnies, those wanting money, those the ones I like cause they don't get nathan but penetration, unless it smells like sanitation, garbage I turn like doorknobs, heart throb never, black and ugly as ever, however, I stay coochie down to the socks, rings and watch filled with rocks, and my jam knocking your Mitsubishi, girls pee pee when they see me, never holes creep me in they TP. well if he can be Steve, I'm be Steve, well I can't show I'm a <laughs> don't see my ones, don't see my guns, get it? Now tell your friends, Papa, hit it, then split it in two as I flow with the junior mafia. I don't know what the hell's stopping ya. I'm clocking ya, Versace shade watching ya. Once you grin, I'm in, game begins. First, I talk about how I dress is this and that.